How's it going, people? Got a fucking great video for you here today. It's actually not going to be that great. It's actually going to be one that really pisses... It might piss some of you guys off, but I, what I want to make this video about is to make a discussion. So, heed that warning. So, if you're easily butthurt, there's videos down there you can go watch. Uh, there's probably a search button up there. Um, you can turn off your phone, turn off your laptop. So, you know, don't... Don't get too hurt by this one. But I want to have the discussion with you. If you'd like to have a discussion. Or an argument. I'm down to fight anyways. But anyways. So my argument here. My, my, my beef right now. Like what the hell. What are they doing anymore? Not everything they make is trash. But like I have gotten a lot of trash ass tools from them. And these last couple years. Have been just like where did their quality assurance go like where did their fucking design go like they used to make just solid basic tools that they were just good i mean and everybody rebrands them mac uh blue point i think rebranded some shit we'll just start here's an example these are like their channel like hardline tools like they're shit that they've been making for some time and i honestly haven't abused them and like they they just took a complete shit like look at all the teeth they're completely smashed bent up out of shape and like what the fuck just horrific doesn't don't meet up anymore look at it whole jaws look i think if i squeeze they might meet up let's see let's see if we can get them to meet up mm, there you go nope so they need to come out with more comfort grip stuff i like that kind of stuff i mean it is what it is but I mean, and they still work. I still use them. But, I mean, these, these are at home. This is an at home type pair. I got really nice clients and shit at work. And that shit is way better. And I understand this is cheaper, but, I mean, come on. it's It's got to be close. It's got to be kind of. And, and then we go to the design thing. We got these pliers. Fucking junk. You get, like, two teeth of contact. And I know some, oh, these are fucking great. No, no, they're not. If you actually use them, you understand why they suck. Biggest reason is that the adjustment is just all wrong. You're either too big, the handles are way far apart, so your hand's like this, which is not just a natural feeling. You jump over to the second one, and now look. I can turn that by hand inside of there. So, you have to be like that. Because of the stupid jaw design with, this, with these channels. You can't have channels with this type of jaw and it actually work they tried the same thing with the i mean and, and these are worse these are okay these are meh but these are just complete junk and i've seen they a lot of guys had to start carrying these for a while at work and these shear right off because as before with regular channel locks you get a full nice big channel or two little ones this one you're just getting half a channel and the whole thing and that angle is just all wrong it's almost a 90 degree really uncomfortable so you get over here and you get the same issue you're either too big and look even at the smallest one you're barely grabbing onto it okay and like that's just so unnatural you put it up here and that's really going to slip off you put it up here it's just completely wrong and you need to have a finer adjustment than this for this style of jaw really need to have a finer adjustment no no fucking good this is these were a little bit better these are dog shit horrible pliers don't ever buy them if you have an opinion if you think they're worth that's fine i understand the angle that that can come in handy because it's a different angle but no no i mean if you put that on a regular pipe you're going to you look at it you're only getting about two little teeth one on each side of an actual engagement and that's that's no fucking good this one is a little bit better but then again you still need that adjustment dog shit then they tried to give you a finer adjustment and they just did a if you guys don't know i did a re review on this which is really shitty quality but oh well just like all my videos and it was just complete junk go watch go check that out but as you can see all the teeth sheared off long story short they broke on the first day complete piece of shit they should be ashamed that they even put made put that on there piece of junk then here's another issue 
and, and, and I can this one we can argue about a little bit less because I understand but you know this is always supposed to be like made in America company but they offshore a lot of shit they got these are screwdrivers I know they're made in China I know they got ratchets sockets wrenches all made in China which is fine I mean I understand that from a business standpoint under survive you need to have some more budget tools even though in general channel locks are generally a budget tool in comparison to anything you know that's American made like SK or snap on or you know whoever the fuck so but let's not let me let me make sure I don't get anything too astray or too not anyone gets anything misconstrued here What do you want for dinner? Justice. These are the fucking bee's knees. If you need to bite onto a stud, this is exactly what you want. I've also done videos on this. The 410 parakeet pliers. Badass. You need that tool. You need this fucking tool. Great fucking buy. These hose clamp pliers. I know Mac rebrands these and all of these tools. He's got picked up a little bit of rust, don't use them as much, but they're fucking awesome. Hose clamp pliers, they really, they're just simple and work. Great design, and they'll last me probably the rest of my life. These dykes, simple. Again, these are the hardline tools. They're still doing this right. I, you know, and obviously you got channel locks, and I, I got a lot of the older ones, and I've done videos on these before. I think my, my first video I've ever done was on channel locks and Knipex. And then, you know, you got your big dick, big daddy dick, uh, fucking channel locks. And those come handy for millions of reasons. So, like I said, I just wanted to, I wanted to start this argument. What do you guys think of channel lock shit today? Like, what are they, what do you think that they're doing? Are they doing things right? Do you think I'm completely wrong and think these are all still great products? Did you, have you had bad fucking, uh, you know, have you ba had bad experiences with them lately? Or have you all been good and I'm just completely fucking wrong? What do you think of these fucking pieces of shit? There were f the 430X, if you uh, need to know exactly. Yeah, 430X. Complete piece of junk. I actually made a drawer fucking handle out of mine. But, yeah, check out my Instagram for that one. Or Facebook. Or Twitter. <laughs> and, yeah. What do you think about the offshore shit? Is it dog shit or is it understandable? Let me know. Check out all these people. Don't forget.